Hello there, Scorpios. You have a very, very big month ahead of you. Um, and um, you have some really amazing cards, okay? This is going to be a very pivotal, important month in your life. And I feel that it's going to really set the pace for the next, I want to say, the next cycle of your life, okay? You have some really, really big, important uh, hard-hitting cards that are um, here in this spread and I'm going to talk about them uh, just a little bit when I was uh, meditating on this um, card or on this spread for you guys before I shuffle them out um, I saw an image of an oak tree okay it's a really it's it's canopy is really big it's in the forest and it looks like the Pacific Northwest it looks like you know Oregon uh, that area, even going into Canada, it looks like um, the, t the the climate reminds me of like possibly the fall in that um, region of the world. And I see this giant oak tree and um, it shows me the trunk of the tree and then it goes subterranean and you can see the root formation. It's really deeply embedded and really grown and has really found its home. And then what started to happen is I see the roots retreating. Um, it, it's almost like the roots are being, um, they're, they're either retreating from the ground, moving away from the ground. So it feels almost like somebody is transplanting, uprooting this uh, giant oak tree and moving it to a different location or I feel like this series of like, you know, retreating, uh, uprooting, like uprooting and moving elsewhere. Okay, so uh, the oak tree was very majestic. It, it was standing really tall and uh, it had a lot of leaves on it and it just seemed very healthy and very stable and all of a sudden I feel like some major major things um, might be happening and so I feel like the month of March is going to be very pivotal for you guys and uh, I'm hoping to get this published early um, so that you can watch it ahead of time so that you can pre prepare yourself for the energies the changes the sweeping changes the transformative um, energies that will be coming through for the month of March okay so right off the bat, I want to talk about a few things here. And I mentioned you have some major, major cards and I want to talk about them for just a little bit. So you've got three aces, Capricorns. We have here the ace of love, uh, ace of cups. And um, this is like the beginning of a new love, a new passion, a new desire, something that is really transforming your emotional life in a very positive way. Okay. We have the ace of pentacles, promises of new jobs, new prosperity, financial increases, financial gains, and everything that um, I feel like this is basically a transformation in love, a transformation in money. And then we have as well the Ace of Wands, which is a transformation in projects, okay? So you have some really big new beginnings in these areas of your life. And you have some major things that will be coming into the picture. Um, I'm seeing, you know, th these are like gifts from the divine, okay, gifts from God. And when we look at the A's, they're always like a seed of something new. So when I saw that imagery at the very beginning with the oak tree, you know, the, the seed leads to the growth of something amazing, of a plant, of, of, of some idea, of something that you can put into the ground, water it, nurture it, give it nourishment, give it sunlight, give it water and watch it grow. So I feel that you are on the cusp, on the precipice of something really transformative for you emotionally, really transformative for you financially and really drives your passion. And, and I feel like life before the month of March and after the month of March, 2020, uh, will be dramatically different. So I feel like, you know, you're going to be looking at March 2020 as a major milestone in your life for, for years to come. You're going to be looking at, back at this moment in time and it's going to be like, you know, life prior to 
it's going to demarcate life prior to March 2020 and then life afterwards. Okay, so this is going to be a very important life changing um, event I feel coming through for many of you, and especially if you are a Capricorn rising. If your rising sign is in Capricorn, I feel that you're going to be feeling this very early on in the month of March. If you don't care about astrology, if you don't care about rising sign, moon sign, and you're just only looking because you know you're a Capricorn sun, if you're just like born in the Capricorn time frame, I feel like this is going to be a major, major change. Like I'm seeing this whooshing wind of change coming into the energy. Like the, the energy is bubbling, brewing. It's like champagne. Everything is bubbling up to the surface. It, there's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of zing and electricity. And this is going to be a very memorable, memorable month for you guys, okay? I'm very happy to see this for you. So let me unpack some of the things that are the themes and some of the other things coming through in the spread for you guys. So, first of all, um, I see you literally holding something, you know, very, very close to your chest right here. Hi, Priestess. Holding that lobster um very very close to her chest okay so i feel like you've got some major major news and uh you're brimming with excitement you're brimming with like anticipation there there's just a lot of things like zinging around your environment and i feel like you have some major plans that are in the works and you're keeping your cards very close to your chest i feel that for some of you um, you know, of course, we have like close friends, lovers, uh, family members, and close confidant that we confide in. That we, um, some of you might have told some of the people that you love and some of the people that you trust about some of these ideas, okay? But your circle is very, very close. And this is like stereotypical of Capricorns. Capricorns are like the lone wolf of the zodiac, they don't like to. They don't like to broadcast what they're doing. They're a little bit more on the secretive end. They're a little bit more on the conservative end of the spectrum where they like to, you know, just try one thing at a time, like process of elimination. And once they reach a conclusion, I feel like they don't really broadcast things. So I feel that you're keeping some major big events really, really close to your chest. A few of the people around you might know about what you're up to, but majority of people don't. And in a way, you're kind of an enigma to a lot of people, even your family members. They might have grown up with you, you know, siblings, parents, uh, cousins. They might have grown up with you, but they really don't know everything that you're up to. And so I feel this element about, you know, um waiting for the the last stretch of the journey waiting for everything to kind of like line up neatly in a row before you even tell anybody so i feel like there's some major projects that you're undertaking new jobs potentially falling onto your lap um possibly the beginning of a new relationship and i feel like this could be something very very serious with the ace of cups and the two of cups okay so we're progressing this is like a very strong soulmate connection this is a very um it's a relationship where there's a lot of friendship there's a lot of camaraderie there's a lot of like uh, likeness when I, I think of likeness it's it's like not only do we really love this person we really like them as a person not only are we you know hot and heavy and like really passionate about this person but we consider them our friend we consider them our equal we consider them our soulmate or our kindred and we we are on equal footing with this person so I feel for many of you there might be like a major undertaking like um, you know proposing to somebody getting proposed to getting married to somebody um, even like taking the relationship to the next level in in terms of like you guys are quite secretive and quite conservative with you know uh, who you date as well and so I feel like this could be kind of like that finally opening up the door and allowing 
others to see who we're dating, like bringing your significant other home to meet family members, announcing that you're going to have a baby, announcing that you're going to get married, announcing a, an announcement that is drastically going to change your life, your love life for the better, okay? So I feel like you're brimming with excitement and you can't really contain it and you're very, very excited. But I feel that it is, uh, you, you feel that it's prudent to kind of like hold back information, to be very careful about who you're telling. So for example, you know, I'm gonna tell Aunt Mary because, you know, she's she's always been there for me. She's helped me through some hard times. But I don't want Aunt Mary to tell her cousin Joe, who's a blabbermouth, and he might, you know, ruin the surprise. So I feel that you're very strategic about who you're telling these ideas to. And then I'm also feeling as well, um, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling for some of you, if you are starting a new job, as indicated here with this Ace of Pentacles, there's a lot of private information that you're privy to, okay? So I feel like, um, so for example, some of you might be in a position where there's like non-disclosure agreements, you know? Um, I don't feel like there's anything shady happening behind the scene that would um, be the cause for these non-disclosure agreements. I feel like it's a it's a security clearance type of an issue. You're privy to certain information because of um, by virtue of your position, by virtue of the work that you're doing, by virtue of you know the people that you're dealing with. You might be dealing with like very sensitive data, very sensitive information, classified data, classified information, or information that is not yet released to the public and as a result of it um, you are keeping things really close to your chest okay so I feel like um, I don't see you struggling with this honestly Capricorns because I feel like you're very good at it you're very good at compartmentalizing separating personal life from private life and as a result of it I do feel like there are a lot of people that are also entrusting you with a lot of information okay because you're kind of like a, a black hole, you know, it, it sucks things in, but it doesn't let things leak out. And so in this regard, I do feel like for many of you, you're in some type of a high level, high power position. And there's a lot of confidentiality uh, agreements. There's a lot of confidential information that you might come across. You might have like access to a lot of juicy details and information and, um, you know, this information can't get out. I don't feel that it's going to be getting out, but you're kind of like excitedly pouring over this information that has never been released, okay? So I, I do see that element here with the High Priestess. I'm also feeling for you as well, you know, uh, things coming full circle. Karma, good karma, is coming back home to roost, okay? We have here the Six of Pentacles, and this is traditionally what I... The Five of Pentacles is, you know, being cast out in the cold. It's usually, like, indicative of karma, bad karma coming back around. With the Six of Pentacles, whatever you give out is coming back to you tenfold, okay? And um, the Six of Pentacles is all about, you know, giving alms, giving to the poor, giving to the less fortunate, the good deeds that we do. Um, they they don't go unnoticed okay so what this means to me is for many of you you know there's a lot of diligent work you're you're doing things with a lot of care you're treating people the right way you take care of people and whenever you have financial resources um, you always give back okay so I see a lot of people here where um, I feel for the majority of you okay um, money can be associated with status but I feel like for you guys, you understand that money is a means and it's not an end in itself, okay? So like, we need money. We need to, you know, to pay the, the mortgage. We need to take care of the kids. We need to pay the car payment and we need to, you know, be able to afford vacations and things like that. But like the whole concept about hoarding money, keeping it to ourselves, letting it pile up in the bank. I feel like for many of you, you have enough wisdom to understand that is not meant to be hoarded and and so i feel like over the years you have given it away very generously to the people that you love who at least are responsible with money you know giving gifts to mom and dad giving gifts to siblings 
uh, using that money to invest in somebody's education, investing in your own education, or giving it to people so that who are in need of the money. Okay, so I feel all of your good deeds have really um, paid off. I'm also feeling for for many of you, you have chosen a career purposely uh, where you can give back. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of doctors. I'm seeing a lot of like uh, mental health people, you know, psychologists, psychiatrists, counselors, substance abuse counselors, people that uh, work with um, like underprivileged populations like children, you know, children in the foster care system, social workers who have to deal with substance abuse people or even like going into someone's house and, and doing welfare checks, you know wellness checks and I'm also seeing like teachers and people that um, devote their lives to being of service to humanity service to society and service especially to the underprivileged I'm also seeing people who uh, take care take in and, and and care for and and heal up like um, stray animals injure animals as well so I feel like whatever it is that you're doing I'm sensing that the, the universe is acknowledging the fact that Capricorns, you consciously made a decision to devote your time, your energy, and your resources to help people that are less fortunate than you. So here we are, we're gonna give you these three seeds with no strings attached, okay? And so whatever you decide to do, it is in the palm of your hands and it is within your power to start to manifest and start to uh, go wild with these options that are available for you so i do feel there is a huge recognition okay of your humanity and your good deeds and also a huge um it's like a, a huge return of favor like karma is being kind of given to you on a silver platter all right so the first four cards are all about that. When we jump into the month of March, you're going to feel this energy, okay? And I feel that you're going to be incredibly happy. And I feel that the people around you, there's no falseness. There's no, you know, people wearing masks. I feel that the people around you, they're going to be incredibly happy for you. And more than anything, they are going to all agree that, you know, you, you definitely deserve this Capricorn. So I'm really happy to see this for you. Um, towards the middle of the month, okay, so once again, the reading is kind of like this. Um, I do feel there is another character that you're going to be dealing with, okay? I see, like, this might be um, kind of like in the romantic um, front, okay? So for those of you who are single, or you could even be coupled up, but I do feel more so for, for those who are single, there's a person that you've been dealing with, and they have been a source of frustration, Okay. Um, I don't see like a love-hate relationship. I don't see anything too bad in this connection. But I feel like the other person is wishy-washy. I feel like they... Um, this is their energy. We have here the Knight of Cups. He's covered up in like... Um, he, he's got a bag over his face, okay? So this is somebody who's emotionally very confused. Okay, just emotionally very confused. They don't really know what they want out of life. They don't know if they want to get married. They don't know if they want to be single. They don't know if they want children. They don't know if they want pets. They're just like very easy to persuade when they're with good people. They're very good and sweet when they're with bad people. I feel like they, they follow the herd. Okay, this is somebody that is lacking in their own sense of direction. I feel like they're like a, a social chameleon and they don't really know what they want, okay? And, and what they want is based on their environment. Whoever they're with will dictate whatever it is that they want. So this is somebody, one of the major source of frustration when you're dealing with this person and you might have been trying to figure out why it's been so frustrating, why you feel a little bit uncomfortable around this person is because they don't have a strong sense of self okay capricorns um the majority of the people that i've dealt with who are capricorns i i like to think of you guys kind of like like that oak tree oak trees are majestic they're huge and they have this subterranean root system where they're very very firmly embedded and planted okay 
for many of you, uh, especially ca uh, Capricorn females, I've seen the women walk. You can wear like the, the highest high heels and the women walk elegantly. It's like they, they own the catwalk. They know how to position themselves, their legs, their feet, their bodies in a way where they're very securely planted. And based on the way that somebody walks, and you know the the men too. I feel like you know the their 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 gait, their walk is very solidly planted. If you've ever looked at a rugby player, for example, or even a soccer player, the way they walk is very sturdy and very steady. It's like you know they 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 don't trip over things. They have very good situational awareness, and they just um. They just exude like strength and and I feel like you know firmness and also stability. Okay, and so when you're like that, when you're like that oak tree, very deeply embedded and very firmly planted, and you're dealing with somebody like this who's like eh, wishy washy, doesn't really know what they want, kind of like bends with the waves, changes with the wind. It can be really frustrating, right? And so you might have been like possibly tolerant of this person or this energy for quite some time. But I feel like for the month of March, you're a lot more discerning and skeptical. Okay, this is the King of Swords. This is like side eye, okay? Sort of like half rolling your eyes. But at the same time, it's like, oh, here it is again. Here's the same spiel. Here's the same talk. Here's the same excuse. And so I feel like for some of you, you're you're just not tolerant of this anymore. And for some of you, you might have ceased communication with this person because I honestly feel like their energy is too wishy-washy. And just imagine, you know, uh, you're the oak tree, and I feel like you know you're you're fun. In the things that you believe, in the things that you do, where your roots are, uh, and you know, you know who you are. And when you're dealing with somebody who hasn't figured these things out, um, they're they're too young to match your soul's age. Okay, they are too young to match your age, biologically, emotionally, spiritually. Their their energy. They're a very very young soul. And there are a lot of things that you can say that will like completely, um, it, it's like, it, it skirts this person. So I apologize for cross watchers, but I just feel like there's a mismatch here. There's an, an emotional and a spiritual mismatch where things won't really calibrate, okay? So I feel like you are aware of this and I do feel that this person is still communicating with you. And I feel like this person really, really likes you. But I also feel that they, they're not really sure about what they want. They're not really sure exactly how to approach this connection. And they're not really sure whether or not you are still interested, okay? But I do feel here that there's uh, there, there are other things coming around for you. I also feel for many of you, if you have cut this person out, I feel that they're going to be coming back. And I feel that they're trying to kind of like test the waters with you, trying to figure out if you're single, trying to figure out if you are upset. I feel like there might have been, you know, just like blockage from your end because a lot of the times too, you know, you, you don't really want to put up with like just, um, just communicate just to keep the conversation going, okay? Um, I feel like you're a lot more real than that. Okay, you don't want to just like uh, fill the, the void, fill the conversation, like conversation fillers, like those things, those things don't really matter. And so I feel like this is what this person does. They, they like to fill in the void. They don't, uh, silence makes them uncomfortable. And so they like to fill in the void. And I feel that you're past that. And so they, they think you're upset with them. They think they might've done something bad. And it's like for somebody to have not have done anything, but to feel like they did, I feel like they're energetically a little bit too young for your taste, okay? And so I do feel, you know, if you've had a falling out, there's an apology coming through, okay? There's um, potentially, you know, them wanting this connection with you or wanting this reconnection with you. But then I also feel like you might not be as interested, all right?
So what I have here is uh, where a lot of your energies will be kind of uh, focused. So we have the two aces here, and this is like the main focal point of this uh, this month. With the Ace of Pentacles, this is new job, okay? And Ace of Wands, this is like a major new endeavor, something that you ha are very passionate about. Um, the 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 Ace of Pentacles is like a, a solid job, a solid nine to five job where you're either working for somebody, you're getting salary, you're getting paid, you're getting consistently paid every month, okay? So like a salary job. I also think of this as. <clears throat> A combination together there could be a salary job there could also be a side gig okay this is like short contract work this is also like um, you know like you're you're hired on to do a project and then when you finish the project they pay you and then you find other projects so I feel for many of you you might be starting with uh, working part-time and then doing some type of entrepreneurial thing where you're self-employed and you're managing your time, managing your clients, okay? So I feel like both of these opportunities are definitely on the table for you. You might be solicited or headhunted. Specifically, um, I do see a boss here, um, uh, an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This is somebody who knows how to run a business. This is somebody who has a lot of skills and expertise. Um, consultation is what I'm seeing this is like I, I think of it as like a lawyer a freelancer a lawyer a consultant somebody with a lot of skills and they know how to freelance and they can survive off clients um, referral and so I feel like for many of you you might be taking on this role or you could be um, working for somebody like this who's like who wants your skills and they want you to kind of um, work with them on a project and their the, the money the financial windfall and the money associated with this is, is quite substantial okay it's a big amount and i also feel like if you're starting a new job it's an environment where there is a lot of growth potential we have the ace of pentacles this is the seed the beginning right next to the three of pentacles so already we're escalating and jumping and this denotes to me a lot of collaboration Picking the brains of really talented people. Everybody working together. No one's lazy. No one is carrying the weight of the work environment. No one is like, um, it's like everyone's on board. Everyone's working hard. Everyone is seeing the end result. And everyone understands that we all need to contribute. We can't be the weak link. Or at least in, in this work situation, there is no weak link. Okay? Um, so you are surrounding yourself with really amazing new people, hardworking people, people that understand, uh, um, you know, the, the concept of personal responsibility, work ethics, personal responsibility, personal accountability, and hard work and dedication and perseverance. All of these are key words that are very important to Capricorn. And these keywords are translated, or I'm sorry, um, transferred into the work environment where I feel like you're finally meeting people who are exactly like you, okay? Kindred souls and in love situation, but also in the work arena where no one is uh, lazy, no one is slacking off, everyone is pulling their weight so that something bigger and majestic can be built. And so I feel like this is a really, really transformative month. You belong here, Capricorns. You finally understand where you belong. And the whole concept about uprooting, when I mentioned, I feel like for many of you, there might be travel and movement, six of swords, okay? Moving from a place that might have been turbulent, that might have been possibly destructive there's a tower in the background the kids are on the lawn they're moving away from it so it indicates to me potentially you know moving away from a situation in order to reach calmer waters moving away from lazy people in order to get get to a space where people are working really hard moving away from people that you're no longer jiving with so that you can achieve this you know um a sense of harmony in your relationships okay and so there's a lot that you're kind of like keeping under wraps there's a lot happening and you're brimming with excitement 
and I feel like you have so many good things coming through in this month. It is going to be very transformative. You're going to look back at the month of March, and life before might have been, you know, a little bit dull, a little bit like mundane, a little bit like going through the motions. But life after the month of March 2020 is going to set you up to play in the big leagues and to be visible. And I, I feel like no matter what it is, it's going to you're going to see a, a an uptick in your financial resources. You're going to really love your life, and you're going to have an abundance when it comes to projects, financial, um, like even like jobs coming through. In the picture, okay. I am going to leave it at that, um, Capricorns. I do wish you all the best, and you know, it it's amazing. So I'm I'm really happy to see this, and I hope that you guys make the most of it. I know you will, okay. It's going to be a very phenomenal month, and I'm so happy uh, for you guys. Um, I do have a link in the description box below for those who are looking for spiritual guidance and uh, um, there is a psychic she's based out of California and I have included a link to um, her website where you can book an appointment for yourself and things like that and uh, it's directly right below this video. I also have a link to an artist I want to just um, make a plug for her. She's an artist based out of California as well. She has a website and she has some um, some artwork if you're interested in like abstract art and in things like that she has some really cool stuff okay the colors are just really brilliant so i i, I really want you to uh, at least check it out okay it's like watercolor but it's alcohol based paint and it is just the color scheme is amazing so i wish you all the best i hope this reading finds you well take care of yourself and i will talk to you guys soon bye bye